Greetings everyone, welcome back to another PS4 video. You guys know that I read all your comments and I noticed that there were a lot of suggestions and demand to test the crew 2 on the PS4. And today we'll be doing a quick review and gameplay test of the game. So the Crew 2 was released for multiple platforms including the PS4 in 2018. The game features a vast open world environment where you have the freedom to race anywhere you choose, complete story missions or just drive aimlessly enjoying the beautiful scenery and graphics. And on the PS4, the game is rendered at 1080p and runs at 30fps without any major frame drops. So guys, let's start with our gameplay test. Be sure to check out my other videos and see you guys next time. some giant spectators for this part of the course and they're getting some giant sized action we're seeing the best from our drivers now the moment when they're upping their game it's going to be a gladiator match out there and now for the big moment it's time for us to switch up the competition running out for our drivers to make a move on the water. Now let's get our hands dirty. We're now in the last section of the race. Here's where drivers can choose to follow the road or cut through the swamp and play in the mud. The choice is theirs.
just woke up in a big way. myself. And guys, before we finish the video, I wanted to introduce a nice little portable waterproof Bluetooth speaker made by Zanac. This speaker comes in this nice little compact box. On the back we have some of the features, it supports Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity, we have a fairly big capacity 1800 mAh battery, which is enough for up to 10 hours of music playback at max volume or around 18 hours at 50% volume. So inside the box, there's this speaker itself, we'll get to it in just a second. We also have a micro USB cable for charging and this really convenient metal hook that you can attach to your backpack when you're out or on the go. So that's a nice little touch. Of course, we also have a user manual. And guys, here we have the speaker itself. Now my first impression is with the outer case of the speaker. It's a sort of braided fabric material, very robust and durable looking. And I am fairly certain it offers some degree of shock and drop protection. Zanac claims it can withstand drops from 1.5 meters without a problem. So at the front we have the power button and volume up and volume down buttons. At the top there's the Zanac logo on the stainless steel looking cap and also this rubber loop to which you can attach the provided metal hook that we saw earlier. And protected behind this rubber cap is the micro USB charging port and a reset button. And overall guys, I'm quite impressed by the build quality of the speaker despite being placed in the lower price range at about $35. 
It's mostly intended for outdoor use and you won't have to worry about drops, dust or water splashes as the speaker is IP67 rated. So guys, let's turn on the speaker and get to the interesting part which is the sound quality test. Once we turn on the speaker, it should be visible in available Bluetooth devices. So guys, what can you say about this sound quality? First, the speaker can get pretty loud. I don't know if you can hear in the video, but even at 60-70% volume, the speaker is quite loud while the sound remains clear and without a distortion. This sound is more towards the high and mid to low tones, while the bass isn't as prominent as in some of the other more expensive speakers, which is understandable. But overall, I'm quite happy with the sound quality, it's nice and clear even at higher volume. And to summarize, this speaker is mostly intended for outdoor use, it's durable and robust and not that expensive. We have good battery life and a decent sound quality. So if you like the speaker, you can purchase it using the links which will be in the video description. Thank you all for watching and see you guys next time.